The Israelites were God's people, but they were stuck in a pattern of ignoring God, being attacked by enemies, and then calling out to God to rescue them. When the Israelites ignored God again, God let their enemies, the Philistines, rule over them. One day, the angel of the Lord spoke to a man and his wife. The angel said that they would have a son, and their son would save God's people from the Philistines. God had special instructions for their son. He should never cut his hair. The couple had a baby boy, and they named him Samson. God made Samson strong. When Samson grew up, he decided he wanted to marry a Philistine woman. Samson and his parents went to meet her. Along the way, a lion jumped out, and Samson killed the lion. Later, bees made honey in the lion's body. Samson ate some of the honey and gave some to his parents. When Samson got married, he told a riddle to a group of Philistines at the wedding. Out of the eater came something to eat, and out of the straw came something sweet. The riddle was about the lion and the honey, but the Philistines could not figure it out. They asked Samson's bride for help. She told the men the answer. Samson was angry, and he left without his wife. When he went back to get her, she was gone. Samson ran away to another city, where he fell in love with a woman named Delilah. The Philistines wanted to know why Samson was so strong. So they gave Delilah money to help them find out. Samson told Delilah, if you tie me up, I will be weak. But that was not true. Then Samson said, if you weave my hair into a loom, I will be weak. Again, this was a lie. Finally, Samson told Delilah the truth. If you cut my hair, I will be weak. So when Samson was sleeping, a Philistine came and cut his hair. Samson wasn't strong anymore. The Philistines grabbed him, and they took him away in chains. One day, the Philistines made Samson stand between two pillars in their temple. Samson cried out to God, Lord, strengthen me once more. So God strengthened Samson. Samson pushed on the pillars and collapsed the temple. Samson and everyone in the temple died. But Samson had saved the Israelites from the Philistines. Samson's sin led to his own death, but God used his death to save the Israelites from their enemies. Samson's story reminds us of Jesus. Jesus never sinned, but God sent him to die on the cross and rise again to rescue people from sin and give them eternal life.